Hello everyone, my name is Silverweed and welcome back to Stormheart Expansion Pack. I almost forgot the name of it, but I just did. That's just me. Uh, so we're gonna talk to Heather, we're right where we left off. And we'll see what Heather has to uh, say. You should us. check it out. That sounds great! But first I'm here for you. Johan is looking for you. He says that he really needs your help with something vital. He seems really stressed. Will you go talk to him and help him on the island? He said he'll wait by the cross priest on the far side of the island. Alright, sure, we can go talk to Johan. Alright, so Johan should be down here. Right here. That's good. That's not good. He's all alone, that's freaky. I see that Heather got a message to you. Oh, that is most excellent indeed. The need is both pressing and great. And you're the only Viking who may ha bring salvation to my most distressing situation. I'll bring you up to speed as fast as I can, and to save time I will attempt to rein in my flourishes and asides. I was asked to arrange a meeting with a man who has an extensive history with Hiccup and the illustrious others, and yes, some of that history was fraught with conflict. However, he approached me in good faith and asked me to remind you that he helped everyone survive on Dragon Island. Harold is waiting for you below the hill, and I believe he is a friend. Please talk to him. <laughs> Harold. Like I would ever trust that guy again. Like I would ever trust that guy again. No matter what he says, I will never like him again. Is he standing here? Why is the Chris Island going crazy? Stupid Harold, you show your face on this island again, I should blast you to bits. You and your mischievous little dragon. Ugh. Duh. Freaking Harold. Silver! What a pleasure! I know, I know. I am I here after I last fled with my tail tucked between my legs. Well, can you blame me for fleeing a dragon the size of an island? Besides, I helped you out then, and I am here to do you another favor. Burke will gain a very pow powerful ally if you have the courage to listen. Go away. Don't want anything. No. Interested? My new boss has asked me to extend an invitation to you to her battleship. I told her that you are a moral viking with Hiccup's ear. She's stubborn and headstrong. I don't know if he could put his misplaced hatred on me aside to have a peaceful meeting. I bet you can. No! My word. I may be a bit apprehensive about this offer, but I believe that we have a duty to listen to his offer. If his assertion is correct, his new employer will introduce a large shift in power in the archipelago. It is best to meet them and be prepared for what comes next. I do go with you, and I make sure that you are safe. Harold's boat is waiting for us at the shore. Let's go. Let us board together. Johan! Johan, you are a, a dim-witted fool. No way. We're gonna die. <gasps> Holy macaroni, look at that ship. It is the size of a dragon, like a leviathan dragon. I'm selling into the rock. Hey, go around. They reveal... Massive. What is that even? Okay, that looks really, really strange. They have dragons powering it? That's Animal Quilts right there. Nice slippers. They have a little bit of a dead expression, but uh, you might be nice. We are here at the jewel of the ocean. The Tempest. The gap standing on the bridge of the ship is no less impressive. You'll find out for yourself soon enough. Don't mind the bristling weapons or the sins of foreboding dread around the ship. I vouch for your safety. You and my word is as good as gold. And my word is as good as gold. Eh, <laughs> right. Johan and I will wait for you here. Mate, go on. Then Stormheart is waiting for you. Go on then. I need to have pressure the right places. <laughs> Stormheart is waiting for you. Alright. Well, that doesn't seem suspicious at all. You will say your safety and I'll go into my doom. Well, fine then. Unlike you, I'm not a coward, so I'll go. This looks really strange though. This looks like these spikes are used for like digging holes in islands or something. And the space here doesn't look good. 
like it's meant for something really, really bizarre. What is this here? And the mole ruffles down here powering it? They are powering it. That's slavery! That's slavery right there, I will not have it. I don't like her, I don't like her. I already hate her. Oh my god, what's going on here? Whoa! Oh, I thought that was Hiccup, but it's just a one one A night fury. Alright, let's talk to her. What's her name? Stormheart. Okay, she is Stormheart. Alright. Errol tells me you are a warrior of Hiccup's army and you have his ear. Good. That will make this conversation efficient. My favorite word. Okay, that's not a quest. Let's talk to her again, I guess. I am the Cora. The Cora? Oh my god. Nikora Stormheart, the captain of this vessel. Harold has told me a lot about you, of your exploits with Hiccup and his troops. From what I understand, Hiccup is a fascinating man. I hope that he is willing to hear some sound advice. I have to come to the archipelago for new business opportunities. Oh, she's pretty. Oh my god, she's a ghost. Oh, oh. I have no ill will towards Burke or Hicker. In fact, I admire your strength and ingenuity. Oh, that guy looked real tough. <laughs> we do not need to be enemies. Uh, she's a nasty one, I can feel it. What are these cages for, huh? What are they for? In fact... Oh no, what what was she said? I don't trust her! I don't trust her. What do you want? Tell me. We could become strong allies. I doubt it, I doubt it. You have Mold Ruffles powering your ship already there, I'm gonna have to say no. But warn Hiccup to stay out of my way. Oh, you sound like a copy of my If you cross me. Just tripping all over the place. I will not hesitate to crush you. That's always good to know. That's always something you need to say when you're making new friends. It's important. I have a small gift for Hiccup and his friends. You can consider it a payment for the chaos of the tribus trade. Costs with your home. The tribus like cost with your home. Within your home. The damage was unintentional. Click on the crate, please. Crate, is that crate? Let me see. Hmm, hmm. Oh, that's weird. It's a poison. Will I die now? I hope you find it charming. I always told me that Higo appreciates his fine engineering design, and I thought I could share my personal style with this statue. A gift to remind him of his new neighbor. That looks ugly as hell. Oh, no Thank you for your time. I have no doubt that you will get my message to Higo faithfully. Remember our paths need not cross, for we look towards different goals on the horizon. Do not cross me and I will not consider you an enemy. Your merchant friend is waiting for me. Okay, I don't like her, and I will not talk to her anymore now. Talk to your mother. Right, let's get out of here! A whole lot of this seems very, very strange. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's weird. Talk to your mother. Yeah, let's get away from that demon ship. Oh my goodness. Alright, you want to see how to What an unsettling place and a chilling captain to boot. Did she tell you why she has arrived within these waters? I wonder if she's planning on challenging Hiccup or the Dragon Hunters for supremacy. She certainly could with these weapons. Did she tell you anything about fighting the Dragon Hunters? Well, I am past ready to set sail far away from this warship. I am sure Stormheart wouldn't have any qualms. Would you're flying away on Tabatoa? Perhaps you should return to Hiccup's Edge. To Dragon's Edge and inform Hiccup. Hiccup's Edge, really? <laughs> Alright. Go to Dragon's Edge. Yeah, yeah, you better be gonna get out of here. This is really, really unsettling. Hey, uh, got a moment to talk? Silver, welcome back. Edda told me that you went on an errand with Johan. What's going on? Thanks, pal. Wow, that was Harry Potter right there. <laughs> that name. I don't approve of you going to face this Stormheart without backup. But thank you. I don't trust Harold, but he's right. He did try to help us at Dragon Island. He did not! 
Maybe we don't have to be enemies with Nakara. I'm sure she didn't mean to drive the Triple Strike crazy. So I'll help her stop that. And this statue is uh, interesting. It's not what I prefer, but I see why she likes it. I don't know where we can put it. Let's leave it here for now. Yes. Keep it outside. Whoa. There. Accidentally insert but in rotter. But I can't wait. But I can't watch you be hoodwinked. Storm how that appears and apologize for what happened right here. It smells fishy. And Dagger doesn't like fishy. I'll wait here for my new axe that Stromhard did this on purpose. As a warning! And I do love the way she's sliding through the air. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Hiccup, you listen to Astrid Silver. Will you ask her what she thinks? Yes, we'll ask Astrid what she thinks. Oh, she's over here now. Alright. Heather's gone. Talk to me! Thagger's, well, he's a little crazy, but he's right. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I don't like how this feels. And this statue is too weird. He got tries to see the best in people, but that might get us in trouble this time. Yeah, Hiccup Come was on, acting really weird. Back into it. Well, we can still take some steps to protect ourselves. Remember that sound we made with the dead anatomy spines? Hiccup and I want to use that sound to set up defenses around Dragon's Edge if the Triple Strike ever comes back. You see, all objects in Moden gather kinetic energy. There was kinetic energy right there. As it travels through the air, when two objects collide, each object transforms some of its energy to the other. That energy flows out into vibrations, which in turn creates sound waves. So we are going to try to create a device that can do that for us when we flip the switch, so to speak. We need a lot of woodlocks to make these contraptions. Can you gather six woodlocks from the trees in the wilderness? Okay, I can do that. It's a bit far from here, but I'll go. So yeah, Hiccup is acting really strange in these expansion packs. He's like, he's too gullible. And they, they write it off as, oh, well, he just sees the good in people. Yeah, and that's true, but damn, son. He seems really naive, and he's not that naive. He can be naive, but he's smart. He's a smart guy. Like, with the Herald, he just let him in. He just met him, and he's like, oh, here's the Book of Dragons. Take it. Like, No. Great. Well, at least he has Ash this time to correct him when he's doing crazy things. Right. I really appreciate it. While you were harvesting woodlocks, I sent Heather and Winchy on the task of whitt whittling woodlocks from the posts that will host the devices. Can you join up with Heather and see what you need to do next? Okay, I can do that. Where's Heather? Hey, where's Heather? He's here? I cannot ride my dragon. Where is my dragon? My dragon is dead! Oh, she's over here, so we can just run. But I can't ride this. Is it even... Why are we gonna run right here, Tamatoa? Tamatoa, let me ride you! Tamatoa! Oh, well, never mind then. Tamatoa doesn't like to be written today, apparently. Talk to him. I can't wait to see what you'll come up with! Hey, weren't you and I are really excited to help out? As you can tell with the water reel on the lab. I have a keen interest in inventions that can put kinetic energy to good use. That's the type of energy created by moving things. The water wheel powers a lot of my instruments, and this device will be able to create the sound we Are want. you ready for your next task? Let's hurry back to the Dragon's Edge and put these to good use. Okay, here got my blueprint for the noise makers, and everyone's ready to help make them. Can you start off by giving Hiccup to uh, woodlocks? That should be enough to make the invention. Alright, where is it? There we go. So many triple strikes all over the place, I'm so confused. Oh. Yes, take it with us. I've got an idea. When we try to create a solution to a problem, we need to know that there are many ways to meet all the requirements of the problem. We brainstorm ideas that could work, then we try to make a model and test it. If it doesn't work, we fix and try again. Astro and I think that this device might fit our needs. What do you think? I don't know here. What is the device? That right there? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, help me out. That's an excellent sketch. Can you pass to Woodlocks and the instructions to Astrid? She's working on one of the devices. Where is Astrid? Fly. Astrid. 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 Oh, Astrid. Astrid. 
Oh, okay. well, thank you. Thanks a lot. I'll get this done right away. I can't wait to see. You should it check work. it out. And the final helpers, the twins. I know, I know, they're flighty, but surprisingly reliable when it comes to the important things. Make the rest, give the rest of the woodlocks to Chuffnut, and they'll make sure the last whistling machine gets set up by the far side of the dragon's edge. Uh, Chuffnut, where are you? Oh, over here, let's go. Thanks. Yes. I got a question for you. Now that we have a valuable wood on our hands, Ruff, Nut, and I will be able to put our own flourishing into this. Look what you did. Look, do what? What am I? What do you think, dear sister? Giant wooden octopus or a statue of Loki on top of the pole? No, I got it. A whittled rendition of the greatest friend, Jerry. Rock on. This calls for a not council meeting, Tough Nut. Chicken is the branch of the family, and this pole should be a proud representation of us both. Let's lug Helmet's horns and come up with come the back to me. Wow, alright. Don't lose sight of the gold, guys. Hiccup, can you make sure that they don't make anything crazy? Okay, thank you for getting the locks to all the right people. They've been able to create some incredible things with Hiccup and Ashley's supervision, of course. Supervising, of course. We are by the west entrance of the camp. Come find us. Man, weed words, woman. Why do I always mess up these? They're pretty, like, the font is pretty big and everything. But, like, but that was quick that you make that thing. Holy, holy, look at that. Wow, that was great! This is great! With these posted around Dragon's Edge, we'll be ready if a triple cycle turns here. I'm sure I can keep her disoriented long enough for us to stop her You've done a bang-up job! I'm really glad that Reeve established a strong defense, but Dagger doesn't seem to agree. I know the look on his face. He's stirring on something. Can you talk to him and see what's going on in his head? Uh, I don't think anyone knows what's going on in Dagger's head, to tell the truth. But yeah, I can talk to him. Why are there so many dragons here? Oh my god. Everybody's talking to Dagger. Like, he has fangirls all over. I can't even see him. Thank you for that, Monster Slime. Oh, there we go. I have my thinking helmet on, and the numbers aren't looking good, you know? All the defenses in the world aren't going to help us if our enemies can plot and plan and unleash hell on us. If we want to win, we have to take the fight to them. That's the berserker way. This voice just keeps getting weirder and weirder. We need to figure out why the Triple Strike acted so aggressively. I can barely... I can, can't bear the idea of something like this happening to Swap. If anyone hurt my baby, I'll take my axe and I'll... Oh, he's had more to say, but uh, okay. <laughs> I am out of control. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if Ashton has any ideas. All right, all right. That, that's that's simple enough. He probably just said that we should go hey, see Ashton. Got sorry. a moment? I can mind. Oh my God, Hedo's face is so creepy over there. Just looking at us. All right, Dagger's right and surprisingly on point today. That triple side reacted to the clicking sounds when we got close. But when we got close, it all went wrong. Could you just read the sentence Can right you for once? Come on. Something stuck in my mind about how that dragon was acting. The only time I've ever come across a dragon this unstable was when all our dragons were infested by those awful Grimora. I wonder if the triple strike is infested by them. Facelakes has been researching those parasites, so we'll know. So he'll know if they're back. Can you ask if he agrees with my theory? Alright, Hey, listen! Hey! That idea had occurred to me too. The Grimora are worm like parasites with tiny wings and sharp teeth that latch onto passing dragons. Once they latch on, they crawl under the dragon's scales and ingest a toxin that drives the dragon a good dragon mat. They're relentless and we know only one of their weaknesses salt. Lucky for us, they're quite rare and only live in fresh water biomes such as ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and I got a question for you. Yo, face face, my man. You say Grimora? I see you've been to Hobbiton Island too. Rathnod and I think that they might be living in those weird patches of water that just popped up. We're keeping Barbara and Belts away, but Rathnod thinks we might be able to get them to feed on me. I can't you wait. Think you could help me out. Wait, you saw Grimora at Hobbiton Island? What ecosystem could have found on that island since there are no fresh lo like freshwater lakes? Well, whatever the answer, this is huge news. We need to tell Hiccup right away. 
All right, where is he? Where is he moving? Is he now? Okay. I don't think that's right. Oh no! If the Grimora is behind this, if there are Grimora behind this, we'll need to get buckets of salt water ready at the edge in case the triple strike comes back. We have to consider that the island. We have to consider that that island to be extremely dangerous. We can't let our dragons get infested. My ever friends again. and I could use your help with this. Still, we can't leave it alone. If the Grimora are this close to Dragon's Edge, all of our dragons could be at risk. Let's go to Hobbleguard Island and look for these pools that the trains found. Stay close to your dragon, guys. Watch this. There's a trip strike here, and there's all of my friends here. Uh, okay. I've never seen this before. It looks cool, though. Hey! Watch out, Silver! Don't let Tamator test this that water! This is your next lesson. We found the Grimora. That trip strike might have gotten too close to the pond that got it, that had, and gotten infected. I might know how Stormheart is involved, but it looks like it might have been an accident. I don't know how Stormheart is involved. Oh my god, it never stops. It never stops. We need to figure out a way to keep our dragons from making the same mistake without destroying this ecosystem. Come to think of it, I don't know. I don't even know how this pond got here. It wasn't here last week. Can you ask Fizzlex if he knows how this pond arrived? Uh, with rainwater, maybe? I don't know. Most impressive. Of course, this wasn't here before. It's a vernal pool. Vernal pools are temporary pools of water that usually form in the spring and dry out by the summer. While they're full, they function as a habitat for plants, amphibians like salamander and reptiles, such as turtles. These creatures migrate to vernal pools because they are isolated source of water. The young ones can grow strong here without the threat of predators. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's a nice little sketch. Huh. This micronism this little microcosm microcosm of life won't last more than a few months. The Grimoire relies on their habitat like an all animals, so they'll have to move on once the vernal pool dries up. This means nature will take care of the problem in the long run, so we just need to find a short-term hey, solution. You want to have some fun? Allow me to interrupt the steam vikings the knots have been preparing for just this occasion. Top Knot is currently working on a furious leaf to finish painting sign we can place around the vernal pools. Wild dragons will come by and see the sign and stay really? away. Really? <laughs> yeah, exactly, really. Rough Knot. Dragons can read. That might be just crazy enough to work. I like your Wait, style. Ash, which... Rough nut, that's not a bad idea. That will warn dragon riders away from the Grimora. At least, Silver, can you talk to Rough nut and find out where you can get these signs? I guess, yeah. Oh, there are Grimora in the little water. Look at them. Those are cute and small. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. They're so angry. Okay, that's pretty. But yeah. Super cool! My brother's currently at the Thorstone Gallery. That's where genius occurs every week. As long as Tup and I aren't busy fighting dragon hunters. I'm relying other. on you. I'll tell you and only you the location of a creative oasis. It's at Silverback Island. Look for it right next to the sculpture of giant rocks. Wow, okay. Okay. Thorstone Gallery. Oh, wow, really? What the? What's on Hey, there? over here! Welcome, my friend. The keen artistic mind sensed you were coming. My keen artistic mind sensed you were coming. It didn't tell me you were visitors today, though. Sorry Can you do this. it? Let me show you some of our finest pieces. I'm sure you already know this giant rock pile, a rough not original. Watch your step around the deluxe chicken suit. Sweet. And you will find the signs in the back. Each number and signed by the artist. Wow. That's impressive stuff, huh? This one? I got one. Got one. Gonna get two. That's perfect! Aren't I wonderful? They're intimidating yet. Bobby. You can handle it. Treat the signs like members of your own family. Probably take them to the vernal pools and Holocron Island. If I think about it much longer, I might regret my decision. Go! Oh my god. Tough you are so strange. Oh my god, he painted chicken. 
<laughs> he painted freaking chicken. Oh my god, this guy. But I am actually all out of time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will look forward to the next one. And I hope that you will as well. And I will see you there. So long, Dragon Riders.